everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can escalate privileges by using a method called insecure service permissions. So in this particular video, I'm going to use a box called Giddy from Hack the Box. And I already have a low privilege shell on this web console. So when I get the shell, it just uh, gives me this directory and let's check out what we have around. So there's a file called Unify Video. I just check it on what it means, which application do we have in here. So it's related to this Uni Ubiquit. Uh, sorry for the pronunciation if it's wrong. So it gives me something related to this application. Let's check out Search Exploit if we have such uh, exploit available for this Ubiquit. And as you can see, it gives me this unified video local privilege escalation. I'm going to just take more for this one via search point by examine option. So, yeah, it mentions about the product, credits for this vulnerability, versions affected, introduction. Okay, I'm much more interested in this vulnerability part. So it says this is a product and it's installed under this directory, C program data unify video. Let's check out this directory first on our PowerShell console. Okay. We went there, there, and we see the unify video folder here. So what else do we have under this vulnerability details section? Okay, so so the service name is UBKT Unify Video. Good to know this. It's executable as AV service access. So this file is under this folder. And the problem is this executable runs under NTOTOR system account. So it also says that the default permissions of C program data just uh, inherited to this folder. So if you check out the folder permissions, for Unify Video, it will show me in Theodore the system has full uh, privilege. What else does it say? Uh, when you start and stop the service, it automatically runs this file, test kill exit, but by default, in this folder, you cannot just find test kill exit. So, so what we need to do here is create an evil file called test kill exit and send it file to this box so that when we stop the service and restart it this task elixir will just execute and hopefully we'll get a shell as nt order system so in order to do that i'll just create a file uh, let's create a directory for this youtube video <laughs> okay and let's say, let's create a file, say test.c. I created a file, an executable file with MSF Venom, but antivirus system just uh, captures it. So I'm just going to write a very basic C code, an evil code, and we're going to compile it to create the executable. Okay. So let's start writing our lovely C code. CD lit. At page, we'll say int main. Okay, and we'll just say system. Also need to send some netcat.exe file to the box because I'm I'm not sure that if we have such file, executable file on the box. So bind the CMD exe to naked exe and I also need to write my own IP address of this um, to get a shell and let's write our favorite port and also please return zero to work everything fine okay so we're gonna compile the file gcc test.c minus L V S two thirty two uh, and save the file as test kill dot x. Okay. Oh boy, what did I write wrong? 
my CD, sorry. I do typo all the time. It's like one of my characteristics. It's okay. We get the executable anyway. So I'm gonna go back to my PowerShell and try to get the file in my current directory. I will also need to find some netkit.exe so that I need to copy the file in my current directory. So we have netkit.exe and taskill.exe and we need to send these two executables to our vulnerable box. So let's say start a simple HTTP server to send these files. And we'll basically just write some PowerShell commands here in local web request. Mm. Save the file as netkit.exe and take these files from 10, 10, 49 from ports 8000 and the file name is netkit.x. Let's see if we take it. Yes. In the same way, we also need to get these testkill.exe file. Testkill.exe file. Oh, oh boy, I, I saved it in the wrong place. Okay. Of course, it said failed process. No, it, it just saved it. Anyway, I need to save them under Unify Video. Sorry, my bad. So I will just write the same comment here. Okay, let's make sure it's here. Okay, let's get that exam. I will also write invoke web request uh, test kill the exit and say HTTP 10, 10, 49, 8, test kill Okay, let's check out uh, the files. Okay, I have the node. So the only thing that's left to do is stop the service, uh, start listening on the port, whatever it is, 8888, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I forgot it. 666, whatever. All right, so let's start listening on the port 666. And I will stop the service. What was the name of the service? This long name. It should be somewhere here. Service name. Yeah, here. So we took this, stopped the service. I guess there was such thing as auto restart or something. So, no. Didn't stop. Okay, start the service. See if it worked out or not. Running, restarting. Mm, I'm not sure if it really stopped this stop service. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Let's ask who am I? It gives me on the NTO Dodger system. So to summarize all. We just got a shell uh, under documents directory and there was this vi uh, file related to this unified video. So I checked online and I saw that it's related to this product, Ubiquiti unified video. So I also searched for any exploit available for this uh, particular product on search exploit. And there was this proof of concept. So it says, uh, C program data unified video folder just inherits all of the NTOTOR the system privileges from C program data and and also the file task kill exe will be executed when you stop and start the service. So it will also run with NTOTOR the system privileges. So since this file does not exist by default, and we have write privileges, also execute all privileges on this folder. All we need to do is create a file, evil file called taskkill.exe, which was this very basic C code. 
It includes some netcat exe file and also it needs to bind it to cmd exe file. We just written our own IP address and our favorite port. Then we compile the file to create this executable. Then we use some PowerShell commands. Uh, okay, easy, easy. <laughs> Invoke web request to send the file from my own box. I use simple HTTP server for this purpose to send the files to the box. And then I stopped and started the service as it's described in this proof of concept and just waited for my shell. And I got the shell as NT order the system. So this video explained how we can exploit insecure service permissions on Windows environment uh, to escalate our privileges to NT authority system. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it.